Welcome to part two. Hey guys, it's day two and plans have changed. I got such a good reception from my Jeff the Killer costume that I am going again as Jeff the Killer. I went as Frank last night for the 18 plus panels, so I don't know if I'm gonna do him on Sunday or just relax and not dress as anyone on Sunday, but we'll see. Sorry that I haven't really vlogged much, but it's been so busy, I don't know if I'm gonna get much content. Sorry. So, there wasn't that much that I recorded after. There wasn't much that I recorded after Friday. We went to a sushi panel because we go every year. Uh, last year we did really good. This year we overstuffed our sushi. But this year they actually had tuna and that made me really happy because that is actually my favorite fish. But we didn't do too bad. Uh, when we move to the city we'll actually be making sushi regularly. So we'll probably be more in practice. This year was the first time I've ever gone to the photo ops. Actually, I don't know if the photo ops were even a thing before this year, but for me this was at least the first year. Um, I went with Johnny just because he's gorgeous and I just wanted to be beside him. And Greg basically for the same reason, but also because he's my idol in everything. And I, I bought the print with Greg and it's currently in a safe place because I don't want it to get damaged. And um, yeah, I had him sign it instead of a banana. You'll figure that out later. Oh, hey again, guys. I haven't really vlogged much at the convention because I haven't really gotten used to the whole public vlogging thing. So, yeah. I'm sorry about that. I, uh, did stuff. <laughs> We did a lot of panels, but today's kind of a little bit more chill until the dance, and I'm I'm in I'm in my rave stuff. My rave outfit. Aren't I did sexy? I bought stuff today. Where did my backpack go? Say hi. About my alpaca. I don't know, what should I name him? He's pretty cute. I'm thinking Sebastian. Oh. I'm... <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, his name is Carlo. That's why I thought you bought him originally. No, that's not why I bought him again, oh. but llamas, and ha llamas with hats. But it's an alpaca, <laughs> not a llama. And he's gonna be with me tomorrow because tomorrow I'm gonna put together an impromptu Lolita uh, cosplay. I didn't know that it was possible for you to have like male Lolita outfits, but apparently it is, and so I'm going to do that. Because so I already have my bow tie and my fancy shirt with me, so. And my mask. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. Uh, I might record a bit of the rave. I don't know yet. Yeah, you're allowed. How are they supposed to notice that you're. You're gonna be in the vlog! <laughs> Okay, if you don't care. Okay, fine. I th this is my husband. You have never seen him before. This is my husband for the first time. Say hello, Mark. Hello, folks. Okay. Look at this is the gun. Shut up. This is the gun that we bought for airsofting, which which was super fun. But I have like welts all over. <laughs> yeah, your welts are the worst. The worst ever. Don't shoot it in the hotel room. Don't point it at me. Oh, it's empty, right? And there's no battery. Okay, good. <laughs> it's so much lighter. Yeah, you don't have any pellets. Oh, really bad lighting on my vlog. I like this. It's comfy. It, how light is it? Light. Oh, pizza's here. Pizza! Um, I don't remember if I showed this in an earlier vlog. Nice. This is my new yeah, helmet. Oh. Nice. Yes, I do. It's super... Sexy. Let me know. Good. You should have been Guys, I'm really hot and sweaty right now. Oh my god, I'm so tired. We went to the rave and we survived it all, didn't we, Alexis? <laughs> 
No, I'm actually dead right now. You're crazy. Oh, we're zombies. We're not fucking zombie. Yeah. Alexis actually didn't get distracted and filmed a bunch, but I didn't film anything because I didn't think it would actually show up. Hey, so I didn't even take my phone. Oh, what? Where was? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> ah! <laughs> where is it? Yeah. Uh, not you, stanky socks. I don't need your stank. I don't want your stank. I don't love no stank. This one's just my leg one. Mm. That would be cool if that was like 3D. Woo! Oh, look at that. They won't be able to see it on the camera, I don't think. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> You're like a snake. I am a snake. But it was freaking awesome because Greg, like, totally gave us heart signs a couple times, so. I'm going to steal all her footage and I'm going to put it on probably in a separate video because there's a lot of it. But we'll see. If not, then I will put it to some music, I guess. guy in like he was doing speed racer oh, I'm a sweaty guy. He, well whatever but his, he took off his helmet and he had like metal head hair and he was like whipping it and it was like hitting me in the face and the sweat was just like <laughs> it was so gross <laughs> it was the sickest thing ever he was like spraying off his hair like okay I don't like being mean but honestly if you're going to go to a rave, be a little bit more considerate of others. Oh, that wasn't the bad part. It was when he was bumping people with the car. Oh yeah, the with the car. Yeah, he was like basically knocking everyone over like, holy shit. She's not lady beside me. She was really nice. She was trying to protect me, but yeah, she's like, no, 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 go, go back. I, I, I can deal with it. Yeah, she was right. trying to save us. And then that one guy behind him was like, oh, I guess we're getting a free shower tonight when he was doing the hair thing. And so that's he, he that's when he stopped. So I didn't have to be rude because somebody else was rude for me. Well, that's why I told you to trade spots because you put me too much. Yeah. You would have been a bitch. Uh, not a complete bitch, just, hey, hey, you're kind of sweating on me. <laughs> you're kind of getting your drippage all over me. I don't like drippage on me unless it's somebody else's <laughs> drippage. <laughs> That's a good drippage. Okay, so tomorrow is the last day of the convention. So, I think... Good job. I <laughs> don't really remember all the stuff that we were going to do tomorrow. I'm going to be dressing as a male Lolita. Uh, yeah, okay. Where was I? Oh yeah, I was good. I gotta buy some things for my Lolita costume. I'm going to buy a umbrella, and I'm going to buy a baby top hat thing. I think. I think that's where I'm going with that. And I think I'm gonna start dressing Lolita when, especially when I get to Winnipeg, because there's a Lolita club and there's like a really cute guy in it who's like super sassy and it's really funny. I, I like him. I like him. His name. I think his name is Bob. Remember, so a guy's named Bob. I don't know. Hi. Hi. Lights making it all like avant garde. Oh, sexy. <laughs> Your boobs jiggled. Oops, I put my fingers in front of the camera. That's a no no. Tomorrow we are going to the marketplace when it opens. Uh, we gotta get our shit out of here at 12 o'clock, but we can leave it our truck in a parking space so that's all good fine and dandy um then we are going 
there's well before the closing ceremonies there's one more thing uh the autograph signing so i am i brought my little my little pony uh, diary thing that I got from Claire's because I was going to be my autograph book. But now I'm not so sure. I might want him to sign my banana. Both. Yeah, I wonder if he'll sign both. Because I feel like I play with that banana way too much to have a signature on it because I think I might like rub it off. Your feet are sweaty. Delicious. It's okay, I gotta take a shower tomorrow anyways. Um, we also decided that we're going to make our cosplays next year and we're gonna go as a group. Alright! Well, I think that's about it. I, I can't really think of anything else to say really. Um, except, like, that was awesome. What did you think of your first time in the rain? You liked it? What was your favorite part? Everything? <laughs> Except for the crowdedness? Yeah, that kind of stuff. I'm not a crowd. Yeah, the crowdingness doesn't exactly help that much. But everything else is pretty awesome. Every time Greg acknowledges me, that's always my favorite part of anything because. I wouldn't say I'm obsessed with Greg, but I want to be his best friend. <laughs> uh, it'd be so cool. He's such a cool guy. Like, he he's seriously my idol. I don't know. We might stay up a little later. parts I might well I always I always cut things out I might cut this conversation out probably they're gonna know your secrets now they know that I cut things out what do you think that they think that I could turn my head like in a split second or something of yeah, course they know I well, edit this is the one where he gives the heart. everybody edits so I can't this one. <laughs> it feels really weird Okay, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm getting so off track, so I think I can just end the vlog here. Oh, good night, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Last day. I didn't get any footage for the last day, so I'm going to have to tell you about basically the whole thing. Although, not much happened because we had to get home relatively early, so we kind of had to skip out right away. So, last day, um... The first thing we did is we tried to check out of the hotel, but there was a really rude little idiot who didn't realize that he should have took extra money with him, so he wasted two hours of the hotel staff's time bitching about a problem that they told him multiple times they could not do anything about it. It was the credit card company's responsibility, and really, he could have just moved off to the side and just dealt with the credit card company, but no, he had to stay there and hold up the entire line. Like, eventually we got fed up and we had to go to another representative, but it was freaking ridiculous. I couldn't believe how stupid some people can be. <sighs> Actually, I didn't see him until like an hour after we checked out, so he might have even taken three hours. People like that are just so rude, and 
they make people's lives hell and they're selfish and they don't realize this. Right when we first got in, we were standing in line behind these girls at Ticketmaster who were picking apart everyone's costumes saying, Oh, if you're not gonna wear a wig, why even cosplay? So I really loudly said, Oh, well, people just love to ruin other people's funds. If you're cosplaying, then you're technically a cosplayer. And they shut up for like 10 seconds. Uh, there's actually a lot of accounts of really rude people. Uh, there was like this one on Facebook and she was like making fun of the nurses from the caf- caf- bay thing. The maid cafe? She was making fun of them for being overweight and she was making fun of the guy for dressing up in a dress. I just laid into her. She was like a druggie and she had a kid, which is just sick, really. People like that should not have kids. We went to the marketplace. My camera just went really weird. We went to the marketplace and I bought an umbrella and I bought a really cute hat. Uh, I'll post pictures because I really don't want to run all the way upstairs to get them and disturb the dog who's currently taking a nap. Um, but it was like a really cute green fairy, um, hat, and it was at the steampunk kind of shop, and it was really cool. I bought one of the little origami... Hey! Sorry. <laughs> I got- I bought one of the little paper crane necklaces. I tried to do the- challenge and I failed miserably. I got halfway though. Next year I'm going to buy those robotic ears because those things look like they were so much fun and I I don't know if that's really part of Lolita per se, but I was never one to stick within the guidelines of any kind of fashion, so it'll probably be added to my Lolita cosplay. But not cosplay. It's not a cosplay, it's a fashion. I still got cosplay in my head. So after we finally got all of our stuff and we got a couple more sodas, I stood in line for the signings while my husband grabbed me some food. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, I was one of the first ones in line so that was pretty cool but there still wasn't that many people because everybody usually goes to the first signing because Christopher Sabat doesn't go to the second ones because I think he has to fly out early. Most, pretty much every year I think he flies out early. Uh, but that's okay because really I needed everybody's signature and I can just get Chris's next year. Um, especially Greg's. And when I went up to Greg and asked him to sign my photo, he's like, Oh, hey, I saw your tweets, and I was like, got so excited. <laughs> I was freaking out about that so bad because, well, I know he favorited my tweets, so that was no secret, but the fact that he actually, like, remembered they were from me, and then on the photo he wrote, Good luck, and that just made me super happy. I can't really disclose why, but yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. But anyways, I think that's just about all that I did. Like, afterwards we went out for supper again. It was supposed to be with my mom, but it was with my Auntie Kathy and Uncle Grant again, and um, we went to Paradise. If you're ever in Winnipeg, go to Paradise. That's an amazing Italian restaurant. Like, so good. Kind of expensive, but you certainly get what you pay for. The plates are, like, freaking humongous, and they're full of pasta with rich sauces, and jeez, it doesn't upset my stomach, and I have a bad stomach, so... If it doesn't upset my stomach, it's really good for you. Hi, Emma. Yes. So, I will see y'all later. Bye.